Meanwhile, the January 6th committee preparing to lay out former President Trump's efforts to overturn election results at the state level in swing states he lost. The committee's fourth public hearing set for tomorrow afternoon at 1 p.m. Eastern. Among the witnesses slated to testify, Arizona's Republican State House Speaker Rusty Bowers resisted pressure to decertify Joe Biden's victory. We'll also hear from Georgia's Republican Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger and his deputy Gabriel Sterling. In a now infamous phone call, Mr. Trump urged Raffensperger to find him, quote unquote, enough votes for him to beat Biden. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have, because we won the state. You should want to have an accurate election, and you're a Republican. We believe that we do have an accurate election. No, I know you don't. Now, both Raffensperger and his deputy have already testified to a grand jury investigating whether former President Trump's actions in Georgia broke the law. CNBC's senior congressional correspondent, Elon Moy, now on who and what else we can expect at tomorrow's hearing. Elon. Well, Eamon, the committee's last hearing was about the battle inside the administration to overturn the election. Tomorrow will be all about the standoff with the states. And at times, that fight got personal. Today, the committee announced that Georgia election worker Shea Moss will testify after the officials from her state and from Arizona. President Trump and his supporters accused Moss and her mother of counting fake ballots hidden in a suitcase. Well, that led to death threats and racial insults and slurs against the family even though the claim has been repeatedly debunked, including during a previous hearing by the January 6th committee. Now, the committee will also focus tomorrow on Trump's attempts to establish alternate slates of electors from seven battleground states to cast the final vote for the former president in Washington. During the last hearing, the committee unveiled an email from one of Trump's advisors that admitted the scheme was dead on arrival in Congress, but continued to push it anyway. Democratic Representative Adam Schiff will lead tomorrow's questioning. He's been one of Trump's chief adversaries since the first impeachment, and he told the Los Angeles Times that he plans to reveal new details of the role played by Trump's chief of staff, Mark Meadows. He alluded to Meadows' attendance at a key election meeting in Georgia, as well as text messages to auditors. Amen. the power of the big lie lives on. Just today, the Republican Party in Texas passed a resolution stating that it has no faith in the election results from 2020, no matter how many times, in their words now, the elites say otherwise. Elon, thank you for that. We'll see you again later in the hour. Again, the January 6th committee's next hearing is tomorrow. We'll have a full recap here on the news tomorrow night.